Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to sideload applications, be that VR or Android applications, they're all APK, onto your Oculus Quest 2. This works for Oculus Quest 1 and Oculus Go as well. So any, any of those devices, you're all good to go. A few prerequisites, obviously this is for Mac. I've got a video covering it for Windows and Linux, so feel free to check them out. Other thing, obviously make sure you have one of those devices and that it's already you know generally you've set it up you've turned it on all that stuff because that can take a bit of time and apart from that you're all good to go actually the other thing you will need is a usb type c cable not the one that comes in the box that generally don't work so you'll need something like that comes with a mobile device so usb type c to usb type a or usb type c to usb type c potentially but the regular usb one will generally work better i recommend an anchor cable from amazon they not very expensive but they're really really good okay so first of all what we want to do is go to side quest i will provide a link to everything that you need in the description and go to get side quest and then from here click this mac os download i'm going to cancel it because i've already got it downloaded and then we will we'll launch it up in a second so step two is to create an organization you go to dashboard.oculus.com okay so i need to be logged on so what i'm gonna do is just quickly log on i'll just hidden the screen so you you know you don't see my login uh, details okay so we're all good now okay so we are back and on here once you have logged on so assuming you've logged onto your oculus account when you open it you will get something like this you want to go to create new organization so this is essentially you're creating a developer account doesn't matter, matter if you're developing or not that does not matter you just need this to be able to put applications that aren't authorized by the app store on there okay so if i just put you can put any name you want here i'm going to put super epic studio and i'll spell epic wrong and i'll leave it and i need to uh, click i understand click submit i have read and agree clearly and there we go that's it that's that part done you just need one of them i've already got them but you know i've got to show you that step otherwise you know if you don't do it it won't work this step you can skip because we are using mac and mac and linux are unix like based operating systems so they have a lot of these drivers built in that you would usually need next step you need to enable developer mode on your device so i'm going to switch over to my phone so you got to use the phone that is connected and that you use to activate your oculus quest quest 2 or go actually not necessarily activated because you know you could switch it to a different device but you know one that is connected to your oculus device will turn developer mode on and then make sure you restart the headset as well so let's switch over to the phone okay so we're going to enable developer note developer mode on our oculus so this assumes that you've already you know this stage assumes that you've already set up your oculus quest and you've already connected it to this particular phone make sure you're on the same wi-fi make sure your device is on so you want to open up the oculus app and you want to go to settings and then from here find your oculus quest 2 click it it will connect now what you want to do is go to more settings if that doesn't appear just click the drop down go to more settings and from here this is optional only i mean this ain't optional this won't necessarily be the case if you haven't got an unlock pattern go to unlock pattern if you haven't got one that is fine if you do just remove it while you are doing these steps but again i haven't got one so i don't need to worry about it go to developer mode click enable like so and that is it okay so our device is in developer mode Make sure you do reboot the or Oculus Quest, Quest 2 or Go headset because, you know, for the developer settings to appear and uh, make sure you did remove unlock pattern. Next step is we're going to connect a USB cable and allow USB debugging. Before we do that, we want to actually install SideQuest. So if you double click the DMG.
that will mount it. Okay, so we've got the rainbow wheel of death thingy. And do, 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 do. Taking longer than I was expecting. There we go. So to install it, just drag this icon onto applications. You won't get this prompt unless you've already got it. Then you can just click replace, but you shouldn't do because it should be the first time for you to do it. So that's copied over. What we can now do, we can actually get rid of side quest. We can eject the side quest mount. Go to applications, launch it up. And where is it? There we go. So launch that up. And I can close this down. And if this appears, just click open. Like I said, I'm going to close this down now. And that's it. So we've got SideQuest open. This is a great app store for downloading games and applications, mainly games. So there's a bunch of stuff here. So let me show you how to actually do this. So what you want to do now, if you look, it says red. The device hasn't been detected. That is a okay. That's fine. You want to plug in your headset. And... It says all unauthorized allowing headsets. So that was, you remember this option? It says connect USB cable and allow USB debugging. If you put your headset on now, this little thing will appear saying allow USB debugging. If this is your personal computer and you trust it, I recommend clicking the always allow, always allow from this computer option, then clicking OK for the simple reason. It makes things a lot easier. And we can close that down now. So I'm going to put my headset on. I'm going to click always allow, click allow, and it should go green now. There we go, it's gone green. And now if I was to disconnect it, and then if I reconnect it, because I clicked always allow, that checkbox, it'll go to green. So it just makes things easier. Obviously, if you're worried about security, you know, feel free not to do it. Okay, so to install something, so let's say if I want to install this Quest Doom, for example, with your, you know, your device connected, you want to go into here, go to install to headset. It starts installing, and we go up here. As you can see, it is downloading the APK. Obviously, depending on your internet speed and what you download, it will take, you know, longer or shorter depending on what it is. So you just gotta wait patiently. And then it will be done very, very soon. But yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff on the side. Because I mean, the amount of, you know, awesome stuff that's available on here. Some of it's just old, you know, open source games that have been, you know, ported to VR. Some of it's totally new stuff. Some of it, like Pavlov, is stuff that hasn't even come out on Oculus Quest yet. You know, the officially on the store, but eventually will. So this is a great way of accessing content. And so much of it's free. Like, that's another great thing. But you might be wondering, you've got an APK file for maybe an Android game, maybe some other Oculus Quest game. How do you, in, how do you install that APK file that you haven't got via SideQuest? I will show you that as well once this is installed. I wanted to show you both options. Okay, da, da, just give me some error. That's a lot of errors. It's still downloading or not? This task has failed. Is it trying to install the APK? Don't see why it would because it's... That's strange. Let me cancel this. Again, you know, you shouldn't have these issues. And obviously it's possible that that particular one isn't working at the moment. Let me try and install something else. Uh, let me do Lambda VR. I know this is a lot smaller. And when I tested it yesterday for Windows, it did install. I had a bit of issue playing it, but it did install. Uh, no device connected. I'm going to reconnect the device.
So I'm going to reopen this. So it's good for you, you know, to see these errors. If you get these problems, how to fix it? Okay. So let me try installing Lambda VR again. And go to install to headset. And it should appear here. There we go. This APK is smaller. It'll be downloaded in probably what, like 15 seconds or so. So not long now. Okay, there you go, that's installed, fine. There must have been a problem with that particular Quake download or SideQuest just needed a reboot. So just reboot SideQuest if you get issues and unplug and replug your you know, headset in. Okay, like I was saying, if you want to install something else, like I've got this APK, this T game, it's this T for God here. I've actually downloaded it separately. So in case you do have an, an APK that you want to install, Android or an Oculus Quest, you know backup then you can use this method so what you want to do is go to running tasks and then just drag it on here and you'll you know start installing it that's it obviously there's no download process so it just goes it quickly does a blacklist check then it literally just installs the apk depending on how big your apk is it may take a little longer but that's it so that's that part done now we can close this down I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to exit side quest. Don't mind exiting that. And let me, let me put the headset on and let me show you where to actually access the game. So you don't access it in the normal library section. So we're almost done now. So I've got my headset on. I am going to just record the screen so you can see it. Okay, so you should be able to see the screen recording now. And so what you do is go to library. And instead of, you know, going here, what you want to do is you want to go to unknown sources. And there you go. The two games that we want appear right here. If you want to uninstall, just click the free dots and uninstall. It's a lot better in the new version. And if I open up like Lambda 1 VR, and it's asking for some permissions, that's fine. And there we go, it's launched up. So that is it, it's that simple. I'm going to actually stop the recording now. Okay, so recording has stopped. And yeah, that is it. That is how you side load applications using SideQuest on your Oculus Quest 2, Oculus Quest first generation, or Oculus Go, and potentially future devices as well on your Mac. If you have any questions, as usual, let me know, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.